Hey guys, I'm here to make a video and this video is going to be an update on Jaden which has been by far my most requested video recently. So I always have people asking me how Jaden is doing and if I could do an update on Jaden and I always tell people yes I will do an update on Jaden but I've been waiting for him to have a doctor's appointment so that I can kind of give you guys a medical update as well. And he doesn't see the doctor but about once every six months now so uh... I wanted to wait until we had a doctor's appointment, and he had a doctor's appointment last week. So that's why I'm here to do the video. Today is June 20th, which is also my birthday, so I am 23 years old today. And for my birthday, we went to the amusement park and water park, so uh, when we got home, I just stuck my hair in, or I just stuck, <clears throat> when we got home, I just threw on some comfy clothes, and that's why I look like absolute crap. My hair is a mess, but... I've been to the water park all day, so what you see is what you get. And Corlea is here to do the video with me, and I'm trying to keep her occupied because all she wants to do is grab the tripod. So I'm going to try to do this very quickly. So anyways, for those of you guys who have, who have not been following my videos uh, before I got pregnant with Corlea, my son... Um, his name is Jaden. He was born in December of 2008, so he is four and a half years old now. And he was um, he was diagnosed at two years old with a midline defect in his brain, and it all has to do kind of like with the midline and his pituitary gland. I'm not exactly sure. You know, the doctors try to explain it to me, but from what I gather. He has a midline defect in his brain, and one of the areas is his pituitary gland. I guess it is missing. <laughs> so in his um, brain, his pituitary gland is missing the pituitary stalk that connects the pituitary to the hypothalamus. He's missing that. So it creates a couple different issues. One, he has very small optic nerve nerves in his right eye. So in his right eye, his optic nerve is underdeveloped. So he has pretty much no vision in his right eye. We're not sure exactly how much vision he has in that eye, but what we've gathered from eye exams and from what they can tell, he really doesn't have, you know, hardly any vision at all in that eye. We don't know if he can see shadows and lights, light, shadows, or what he sees in that eye. And we probably won't be able to tell that until he gets a little bit older and he's able to verbalize a little bit more what he sees in that eye. And honestly, I could probably have him, you know, shut his good eye and have him describe what he's seeing through his bad eye. But I'm going to be honest, it's really, really tough for me to do that because I just hate, I hate bringing attention to his bad eye because, you know, when we're going through our day-to-day -day lives, we don't even think about it. And to, to have him think about it and, like, really let him know that, you know, one of his eyes doesn't work, it's, just, it's, it's really, really, really sad. So I don't, I don't ask him, you know, what, what can you see when you cover up your good eye? What do you see? I don't ask that because I don't like to bring attention to it. He's kind of still in that oblivious stage where he doesn't really know that he doesn't have vision in one of his eyes. And I kind of like to keep it that way as long as possible. So I don't really ask him too much about it. So there's that issue, and also um, all these issues, you know, go hand in hand. It has to do with a midline defect that he has. He also is growth hormone deficient. His pituitary doesn't produce the growth hormone or send out the signals to produce the growth hormone. So he has to take a growth hormone injection every single night um, with a uh, insulin syringe. So he has a shot. Once he goes to sleep at night, Thomas or I give him his shot every night. And he's also on thyroid medication. <sighs> um, another, a third thing that um, his certain defect could affect would be, his, would be cortisol. His cortisol. His cortisol function, which um, your body releases cortisol when you're stressed. 
and it can be really dangerous if your body doesn't, you know, produce the cortisol it's supposed to produce. As of right now, his cortisol making abilities are perfectly fine. So as of right now, he doesn't have to take any kind of supplement when he's stressed out for cortisol. So that's really nice. So the only things we really have to worry about are the growth hormone and the thyroid medication. <coughs> now when he gets a little bit older and he starts going through puberty, he um, we, we may have to look at his sex hormones. But as of right now, that's not an issue. So right now, basically just the growth hormone deficiency, thyroid, his thyroid um, doesn't work properly. So he ha also takes a thyroid pill every morning. So he takes a thyroid yeah. pill in the morning and a growth hormone shot at night. Yeah. Now, when I'm explaining all these things, I promise you they sound worse than what they really are. Um, because if you didn't know, if I didn't tell you that he had these issues, you would never know because he functions and acts just like any other normal four-year-old. So that's really, really nice. Um, when you're looking at him, you can tell that there might, you can tell that he has, you know, some vision issues. It looks like one of his eyes is just like a lazy eye. It doesn't track perfectly well with the, his other eyes. So if you've seen him in videos and you've noticed that his eyes look a little funny, that's the reason because the one eye doesn't work. So his brain kind of um, ignores it because it doesn't really see it all that well. So when your brain ignores your eye, kind of, you know, the tracking isn't exactly spot on. So when I take pictures of him, sometimes his bad eye is turned really far inward. Um, he can have he can have corrective eye muscle surgery for that to correct the alignment in his eyes, but it's just it would just be for purely cosmetic reasons. Um, it would not um, there's no way to fix his vision and his bad eye. There's no way to fix that optic nerve. But um, his ophthalmologist suggested doing that closer to when he starts kindergarten. Because if you do it too early, you can end up having to do it again. So we're just kind of holding off. It doesn't really bother us, so we don't really see see a reason to make him go through surgery right now so but that might be something we do later on down the road to fix the alignment that way he's not getting made fun of at school and things like that um oh if you want to know more about the history of his his issues and his diagnosis i've made videos on it so i will not go back through all that i made a playlist specifically for his videos so i'm not gonna re re-talk about all that but basically um he wasn't growing and he was basically not even on the growth chart as far as height goes and with me being 5'6 and Thomas being 6'4 he really should have been you know up in like the 90th percentile for height and he, wasn't, he wasn't even on the chart so that's kind of what sparked red flags and kind of how we went about getting him diagnosed so before treatment not even on the chart now at four and a half about two years after starting growth hormone he had an endocrinologist appointment and he now is 35.5 pounds which I do believe is let me look at this growth chart which is um, oops, stop, stop, stop. He was about at the 10th percentile for weight before we started treatment, and now he is um, right at a little bit above the 25th percentile for weight. So he is very lean, but they're not concerned with that because both Thomas and I were very, very, very lean as children. We were very skinny kids. Uh, I know it's hard to tell with Thomas now because Thomas definitely is not... Um, a skinny guy now but he was as a child and so was I so that's not an issue um, but as far as height goes we're really excited that he is now on the 50th percentile for height and that is huge before we started he wasn't even on the chart and now he is the same height as 50% of other four-year-old boys so that is huge. We are so excited. And um, I wish I could show you the growth 
chart. Okay, maybe she'll sit down for a second. Okay, let me see. If I'm gonna fold this down so you can't see his last name. Hi. Come in and shut the door. So here is his chart. Here he was. This is this is his weight chart down here. So here he was. You okay? Don't do that while I'm doing this video. You need to come sit down and be very still. Sit down and be very no, still. Just, just, I'm, making video, I'm making a video about you, so if you want to talk in a second, you have to be very still. So here's his growth chart. As you can see, before we started treatment, he was like at the 10th percentile, and now he's at the 25th. This is, and then here is his height. Look at that vertical growth. You know, usually a growth curve, you know, you know what a normal growth curve looks like. This is what his growth curve looks like since starting the growth hormone. Oh. He still has not really leveled out yet as far as growing, so he still has some catch-up growth to go. Like I said, he's at the 50th percentile for height right now, and they expect him to get at least to the um, 75th, maybe even 90th percentile for height. So he still has a little bit of catching up to do. So that is awesome. Um, they also did a bone age x-ray of him where they x-rayed his hand and his wrist and we got those results back when we went to the doctor and uh, I think his bone age was delayed about six months which means he his growth plates were six months delayed which means he still has some catching up to do. He's still kind of six months behind in what his growth should be right now. So they do expect him to surpass the 50th percentile for height, and that's really exciting. And I always said before we started treatment, Coralie is eating paper. I always said before starting treatment, I wanted him to at least make it to the 50th percentile, and he's done that. So I'm extremely pleased with that. So any extra growth now, like, would just be a bonus. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see what else. So as far as health-wise goes, he's doing really, really well. Look. So far as growing goes, he's doing really, really well. He's getting so tall, and he's definitely no longer a toddler. He's completely and totally all.